What's good, everybody? Um, sorry for the quality of the video. Um, just real quickly, shout out to everybody, first of all, real quickly. Um, we're working right now. We're working on bringing, you know, good production. You know, the whole movement is about to take a big leap. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to my dude, Daniel. Of course, my wife, everybody that's helping me do this. Um, but yeah, real quick. Uh, it's like two o'clock in the morning right now. And uh, I'm just recording off the phone real quick is, you know, got these thoughts coming and I'm kind of going through the whole YouTube, you know, world and seeing everybody talking about um, the whole Melly Mel thing. So I just had to drop in my two cents about the whole thing. Um, so all, all that you see, right? So basically, if you didn't know, um, Eminem and Easy Mill had a track where... M, you know, with being the good old Slim Shady, came at everybody and specifically, you know, retaliated, if you will, against Melly Mel, basically letting him know, like, yeah, I'm a guest, but, you know, I made the house a mansion, so on and so forth. So, Melly Mel, being, you know, the old pit bull that he is, didn't waste no time and responded and everybody that you see online is like oh Melly Mel is trash like look at that like how could he do something like that the one hit wonder the old man's going crazy everybody's laughing at him yada 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 this is what I gotta say well, first of all without Melly Mel there would be no hip hop he is the fundamental key to what we have now, what we call now as hip hop, to millions and millions of people in the world, not only making billions off the subculture we call hip hop, but actually making a impact in the world. And I'm not talking about all the trash, yaddy yaddy, you know, trapping ass, excuse my phone say so-called rappers i'm talking about actual hip-hop artists that have influenced the minds of a lot of the youth in the world and now grown men um, people that actually brought something to our society and once again Melly mel was the key fundamental piece to what we call the house of hip-hop um, Lord Jamar, Lord Jamar says something, you know, I don't agree a lot with Lord Jamar, but he, he says something that, that was, you know, dope about Mally Mel. He said Mally Mel didn't only, you know, wasn't only one of the people that, you know, built the house or modeled the house. He actually, you know, got busy and with his hands you know, constructed the house. So I want you, you know, it's a really good point and I want everybody to remember that before you start talking trash. Now, as far as was it a skillful track? Was it hard? Was it this? Was it that? Like everybody's laughing at Melly Mel. Now, just a quick disclaimer. I don't agree with everything that Melly Mel says, but again, to everybody that considers themselves, you know, a hip hop artist or involved in hip-hop in any sort of way without Melly Mel we wouldn't have what we call hip-hop again I underline that so you know everybody again everybody's laughing ha ah, you know Melly Mel trash garbage this and that I only got one question how did you want him to come at M what did you want him to do you want him to do a trap song no, da, 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 da. Or did you want him to rap like Eminem, you know, super fast and like, you know, like, what did, what did you want him to do? He's a 60 year old something man that did hip hop back in the 70s before most of y'all that are criticizing him were even preconceived. The dude was already 
you know, doing something so new and so fresh, we call hip hop. And nobody believed in it. You got to remember that. So what did you want him to do? Who did you want him to sound like? Melly Mel, in my in my opinion, Melly Mel did exactly what Melly Mel was supposed to do. He came at him with his with his style. Don't we love hip hop for the fact that hip hop is all about not being fake and being real and telling your story? Well, guess what? That's exactly what Melly Mel did. Mel on that diss track. On that Eminem diss track, Melly Mel did exactly what Melly Mel was supposed to do. He was being Melly Mel. And you can talk all you want about the flow. You can talk all, all you want about the rhyme and scheme and, and the way he delivered it. But again, I ask this again. What did you want him to sound like? What did you want him to do? In my opinion, Melly Mel did exactly what he was supposed to do. He did not fake, he did not front, he did not copy, which, did, you know, there's a lot of pressure to do that. He could have he gotten on track and, and could have tried to sound like Eminem, and that would have been embarrassing. But no, he did what Melly Mel did. He sounded the way he knows how to sound, you know, as a hip-hop artist, as an as a MC. And if you ask me, it was hard. It was hard, you know, to the standards of Melly Mel. He did exactly what he, what a hip hop pioneer was supposed to do. Sounded the way he sounded, delivered it the way he delivered it, rhymed it the way he rhymed it. You know, because if he would have done anything else, we would we would have been laughing anyway. But because y'all are not used to what that track sounded like we're all criticizing him and all you know what i'm saying and most of us are you know front runners like you know we'll, we'll pick the stronger one the leader whatever you know what i'm saying and nobody wants to talk shit about eminem or he's gonna kill you in, in another one of his tracks but in my opinion I don't want to repeat myself, but in my opinion, Melly Mel did exactly what Melly Mel was supposed to do, man. And if you really listen to the track and, and you put all your modern day biases aside, the shit is dope. Up to Melly, Man st Melly Mel standards and old school hip hop standards and hip hop standards, period. MC standards, period. He actually responded to one of the greatest lyricists of all time. Being 60 plus years old, the man that had a hand in creating this thing we call hip hop, he could have not given a shit, but he actually got in the booth and fired shots. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all say, oh, it wasn't shots, it was just, you know, him swinging air and shit. But if you ask me, those were shots fired. He responded, a legend responded, and he sounded the way he wanted to sound like the way he was supposed to sound like straight up traditional old school Melly Mel you know what I'm saying it's just our ears are not accustomed to that our ears weren't prepared to hear that but guess what you heard it and he did it you know what I'm saying and and listen if you ask me once again, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to ask me. But if you ask me, we should all pay respects and we should all say, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like a Mike Tyson getting in the ring with, you know, like a Tyson Fury right now. You know what I'm saying? Like like somebody that's been retired from Mad Lawn, a legend that's been retired from Mad Lawn is actually getting in the ring with the current heavyweight world champion. You know what I'm saying? And, and whatever, like, you know, swinging and whatever but he got in the ring he got in the ring and he boxed his style and according to his standards you know what i'm saying he he didn't get in the ring and try to be tyson fury you know he didn't try he didn't get in the ring and try to be eminem or try to be tupac or try to be you know what i'm saying lil yachty whatever man he got in the ring and he was Melly mel and if you ask me, 
it was hard it was hard again to traditional hip-hop standards it was dope it was hard way to go melly mel this is what hip-hop is all about you know what i'm saying and you should pay homage respect this was nazarene a lot of projects are coming man we are working you know this movement is about to finally take over and i want everyone to come on a ride thank you you know to jim billinger shout out to my partner daniel shout out to obviously the greatest poet of all time Romania. shout out to all of y'all that that are watching please leave a comment i love when you talk about it whatever you gotta say man you know what i'm saying just say it talk about it man i want to hear it from y'all all right this was nazarene this was proof to me that you're alive this was food for thought this was you know what i'm saying all that good stuff man fighting for change you know